having great text from your chats is one thing, but you also want to probably share them. I'm going to show you now some options. So in the top of the window, you have a copy all messages to clipboard. When I tap this, I can now paste this messages which is everything in my current chat into other places. For example, in notes. So now I can simply use command V and everything is pasted over there. This also includes your text highlighting and your font sizes. You can, if you filter, for example, if you only want to see the messages from ChatGDP, if I now press here on this copy button, it will only copy what is currently shown here. Just let me undo this and paste again. So now it's really only what is shown in it. This is a great way of quickly moving everything. If you don't want to use an external app, you can use the notes area. And if you go on the bottom of each message, do you have the possibility to add this message to the note? And now it's going into this notes area. So you can also move them over here. And then again, there's a copy button. And in this case, I copy over all this content. So if you need to have some kind of notes, this is a great place and you can move over information. So you have here a copy button for individual messages. So if I only want to copy my list, I can do so with this button and then paste it over in notes. Then the next way of actually moving content to other apps is to buy drag and drop. So if you go somewhere here on the left or in the bottom area, you can pick up this note and then drag it over, for example, in notes. And now this whole list is copied over. We have here a small link. So imagine you are having all of this content, this text, and you want to go back to the messages because maybe this chat had some more information. You can go open link and then the app is opened again and with this corresponding chat and you can find your messages easier and find the context of this text. So you can easily find back the content. You can use this drag and copy with other apps I like to use it, for example, with Surfer SEO, if you want to write blog posts with this. Another interesting use case is if you want to map out a lot of your content, of your thoughts here. Let's say I want to actually create a mind map or a map. This is now Keynotes. So let's just drag over this text here and move this. It does keep the font sizes and the styling in order to fit more on one of my pages here in Keynotes. I did increase the slide size to a custom one. And now I can keep on going and add more. And you can use one of these shapes to highlight how things are connected. Again, I use here this link so I can always go back to certain parts of my JTTP conversations. The other free app that I try is Freeform. So you see, I here already added one of these texts. Unfortunately, Right now, I cannot make this work, it just isn't the right format. So again, you can use copy and then when you paste it, it appears here. There's options for alignment. So now I have the right alignment of these informations. Freeform is great because you can also use this on the iPad with drawings and it also has here sharing features. For example, you can use an invite link and share this with your colleagues. And then everybody can also use and collaborate on the same canvas. As you see, there's many options for you to share your JTTP content with copying the whole chats, copying single messages and drag and drop. So you can easily expand on your thoughts and transfer your content to wherever you need it.